All right, all right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yara. Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of your Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine, man. All right, you gotta love what you do, man. All right, and I love, you know, I love doing this, man. You know, I love learning more so that I can come out and teach more, man. You know, so lucky, I just wanted to throw that out there, man. That's that's literally the spirit I'm in right now. Um, but yeah, let's go into it. Um, as you can see from the title, you know, um, um, this topic is a really big stumbling block. I mean, it's, it's kind of surprising that it is, honestly. You know, I'm a, you know, uh, a young man in this truth, you know, a child, you know, per se, right? Um, so it's it it is very uh, uh, um, sad to see this, but I mean, for bros that have been, you know, you know, in this this uh, truth with the hands to the plow for many of years, you know, this is not nothing uh, new, you know. This uh, this uh, this this uh, color thing that happens to be a stumbling block amongst our own people, man. You know, you know, uh, you get people that come up. I remember specifically people, you know, that came up and they would agree with the doctrine and everything, and they, you know, they they be listening, they be bringing our precepts, and then then they'll they'll look at the twelve tribes chart, and then it would just like <laughs> it would just change their whole entire spirit. They wouldn't they wouldn't agree with the doctrine anymore, you know, because of, uh, um, you know, you know, certain uh, uh, tribes that are on the chart. Right. How can Mexicans be uh, 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 um, Israelites? Cubans. How can Puerto Ricans be, you know, it's really it's really a stumbling block to our people, man. You know, but they don't understand scriptures like this. So, you know, Jake is uh, visual. So, Lord willing, this, this is um, edifying to the body and the feet, the sheep, to the spirit, and poppy. How about Shai? You're going to bring some visual, you know, uh, uh, um, um, bring, bring, bring some visual, visualization, Salakia. You know, if I'm saying that word correctly, we're going to bring some visual, you know, uh, um, uh, teachings. All right. <laughs> Salakia for talking. Let's get right to the scriptures. Uh, this is the book of Hosea, chapter 1 and verse 10. All right. Everybody should know this one. Right. Uh, and it reads, yet the, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. OK, we're going to come back to that. OK, it says which which cannot be numbered. It's like which, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. That place happens to be America. OK. All right. Especially today. All right. It says there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power, Yahweh. All right. And people don't understand, man, when, you know, you read this, you're literally witnessing this prophecy. Right. The second half of the scripture. Right. You're, you're literally witnessing this prophecy right now, you know, when it comes to all the uh, Israelite camps that teach, uh, you know, who are the children of Israel. OK, you see, and who go out and promote the uh, the uh, 12 tribes chart. OK, this is this is this is a prophecy that 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 you're literally witnessing today, you know. You're not you're not you're not a, you're not a, you're not a uh, excuse excuse my, you know, uh, uh, terminology, right? But these are the proverbs and bywords that they call us, right? You're not, you're not, you're not a nigger, all right? You're not a a, a, a tanto, right? You're not a spick, right? You're not a wetback, all right? And all the other, you know, names that they call it, you know, a, 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 a drunken Indian, savages, right? You're none of that, all right? You see, those, those, those uh, proverbs and bywords make us feel like we're nothing, right? Pretty sure brothers have, you know, have, you know, have uh, grown, you know, grew up and, you, you, you know, you kind of have to fight through that nothingness, man. You know, so to go from that to knowing that we're the most important people 
on the planet, man. The, the most important nation of people on the planet, man. You know, to figure out you've been lied to, man. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not at the bottom. You're actually at the top. When they, you know, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. You know. But let's go back to the um, um, the first half of this verse, Hosea one and ten. Yet the yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Okay. Now we know when you go to the beach, right? You know, I like to use this metaphor a lot. When you go to the beach, you know, no matter how big the beach is, right? When you take a handful of sand, man, you, you know, you, you can you can't you can't count how many pieces of sand or specks of sand that you have in your hand, right? You see, because that one speck of sand, you know, uh, 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 symbolizes one Israelite in the world today, right? Versus compared to the whole beach, right? You see, but you know, uh, uh, like I mentioned earlier, as far as the color thing and that being a stumbling block to our people, you have to go into scriptures like this, right? Because why did the Lord, man, look, the scriptures, it, there, there are uh, um, um, a lot of scriptures that are uh, metaphorical, okay, and. Um, not even just metaphorical, but um, uh, poetic, okay? Poetic, man, all right? And see, this is only how Jake speaks, all right? Jake speaks like this, right? But when you read this, right, even, even in a poetic sense, man, it still all makes sense because the Lord said what? And Hosea said, um, shall be as the sand of the sea, all right? The children of Israel, okay? Shall be as the sand of the sea, man. All right. Now let's 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 go simple here, okay? Now when you now here, I typed in, uh, I googled the uh, picture. Let me see if I can. Okay, well that's the best I can get it. But I googled a, a, a you know pretty much uh, um, sand, right? And when you zoom in, okay, and on a micro on, on a microscopic level, right? Sand. All right, you see the guy's hand, right? With the sand in his hand, right? But, but when you zoom in, look look at how the sand looks. Look at that. Look at look at how the sand looks. That represents Israel. But notice there's different colors, different shades, right? You see that? There's another one I have here, hold on. Right there, okay? That's sand, you see? different shapes colors and sizes man you know but this represents israel in this scripture in uh you know hosea 1 and 10 all right so how so how can uh, uh um the 12 tribes chart be a stumbling block to our people even till this day man you know not to mention that okay well how how can the children of israel be all shapes colors creeds and you know uh, uh um you know, look different types of ways, but still be all of all one nation. You know, you you got you got to go into the curses, man. All right, you got to go into the curses, man. This is uh the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse sixty-four, and it reads, "And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people." Okay, you see, because because. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, that were given to Moses from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, all right, for us to follow. And if we would have followed it, we were going to be, be prosperous, all right? Not to mention that our people, right, our people did agree to keep and uphold these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, right? But they didn't, up, they, they didn't uphold them. They didn't keep them, okay? And that's why that's why us as a nation, right? Because remember, the scripture says, as it is written, the Lord judges by nation, all right? He doesn't have a respect to persons. You see, even the prophets and 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 and, and the elect went into slavery, man. You see. But 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 now our nation, you know, uh, uh, um, the nation of Israel, as a whole, right? Not just a couple of tribes. No, as a whole, we're under the curses, man. No matter where we are. On the planet, we're under the curses, man. Okay? And that's the number one identifier of an Israelite, man. Okay? You cannot tell me that uh, 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 um, um, the so-called Native Americans aren't Israelites, man. You cannot tell me that the so-called Seminole Indians aren't Israelites, man. You cannot tell me that the so-called Mexicans are not Israelites, man. All right? They were hanging on the trees with us. Don't forget that. 
okay? So-called Puerto Ricans. They were hanging on the trees with us, okay? Come on, man. And then, you know, much, much more, but you know, you could do your own research on that, okay? Because we highlight what, what black people have been, what black, black people did. No, nah, man, we all been through that, man, okay? All the tribes, man. All right, but Salakia, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord, Yahweh, shall scatter thee among all people from, from, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. All nations, man. Okay? And there thou shalt serve other gods. Are we not serving other gods in, 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 in all of these different places, especially here in America? You can serve whatever god you want to here in America. You see? Yes, you're free, but you're free to do wickedness, man. You're not free. You're still in captivity, but you're free. But you're free to serve other gods, man. You see, you're free. You're free to, to uh, serve your flesh, serve yourself, be lovers of yourself. You know, wickedness, man. All right. It says, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Yeah, Christianity and and, and uh, Islam. Okay. There you go. The Kaaba stone and then the wooden cross. All right. So. Our people went into captivity in these different nations, man, okay? So you mean to tell me Israelites in China, Israelites in Russia, Israelites in all, you know, uh, uh, Africa, Israelites in uh, uh, um, um, uh, Iran, right? Israelites in Europe, right? These people are not going to mix and mingle and look different types of ways. Israelites in uh, 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 um, North and South Korea, they're not gonna look, you know, uh, physically look different types of ways. Of course, man, they're gonna be as the sand of the sea, man. All right? They're gonna look like other nations, man. All right? They're gonna look like, like, like the sand, okay? But they're still all of the same uh, uh, um, 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 nation, man, okay? Yeah, this guy might be a little lighter. But guess what? He, he's, he's still of the 12 tribes of, of, of Israel. This guy might be a little darker. Still of the 12 tribes of Israel. This guy, the, these group of guys might look like the other nations. That look like a white guy. That look like a Chinese guy. That look like a, 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 um, a, a Arab guy, right? But they're all Israelites, right? They're all Israelites, you see? The spirit bear witness with their spirit that they were the children of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, as it is written. They're Israelites. You see? And if you're in the right spirit, you, you, can, you can easily identify who is Israelites and who's not. You know, we tell people, hey, Bruce Lee was an Israelite. Oh, Bruce Lee wasn't no Israelite. Yeah, he was an Israelite. It's easy to see that, though. It's easy. You can't, you can't just look at the carnal, man. You got to get out that carnal crap, man. You can't look at it in the carnal sense. You got you to read his spirit. You see? He was an Israelite. You see? And so on and so forth, man. All right? Uh, 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 Conor McGregor, man. <laughs> I love that guy, too, by the way. Conor McGregor, man. All right? The UFC fighter. He's a Jake. It's easy. You, you can't even argue with me on that one. He's a Jake. <laughs> okay? That's a Jake. You see? And here's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 3, and it reads That then the Lord, Yahweh thy power, will turn the captivity, it's like, will turn thy captivity. All right? It says, and, 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 and have compassion unto thee, and will return and gather, will return and gather thee from all nations, whither whither the Lord, uh, um, whither the Lord, Yahweh thy power have scattered thee, see? All right, the Lord's gonna turn back our captivities, man, all right? He's gonna free us again, man, okay? We're gonna be free from our captivities, man. Now, I wanna get Isaiah, Salakia. I, I don't want this to be too long, so I'm gonna skim through it, man. You know, hey, I wanna read this one, God, I love this one. James, St. James chapter one, verse one. James, a servant of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, and of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let me read that again. James, a servant of Yahweh, and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the twelve tribes scattered abroad. Man, you you, you can't can't gloss over the curses, man. Okay, all right. That's a big identifier of who are the children of of Israel. Okay, children, the children of the the sons of God, man. 
okay there's a book of uh book of revelation chapter 5 verse 9 and it reads and they song a new song saying all right this is this is going to be you know af after the salvation of the elect of israel okay saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof it's talking about yahweh shai because he was the only he was the only one in heaven that was worthy to open the book all right it says for thou was slain yahweh shai and has redeemed us to yahweh by the blood all right that was yahweh shai right it says of every kindred see of, e of every kindred and tongue and people and nation okay so of course we're gonna look like the sand of the sea right of course we're gonna look like other nations of course we're e even if they look like jake they might be light-skinned they might be really light-skinned you know look at kid and play all right both of those guys are israelites but one of them just happened to be extra light-skinned man you see look at drake look at look at you know uh, 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 like come on there's so many different examples man all right you see and another reason why the Lord said that we were going to be uh, 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 um, as, as a sand of the sea by number that can't be measured nor numbered, right? Is because we're is because we're going to look like other nations, man. Okay, these other nations, especially Esau, Edom, all right, the so-called white man, woman, and child, man, they're carnal, man. They're not going to be able to. They're not going to look at a uh, 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 Conor McGregor and say, yeah, that's a that's a that's a Israelite. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're gonna call him whatever they think that he looks like, man. They're not gonna be able to see that, you see? And guess what? These Israelites are having children upon children and their children have having children upon children and they're looking more and more like the other nations, man. You see? So they're gonna go right up under, you know, these heathens and these devil's noses, man. But, but, but they are Israelites, <laughs> you see? That's why the Lord said the sand of the sea, man. It was, it was poetic, but it was, a, it, was, it was a perfect comparison, man. All right? It was uh, uh, um, uh, uh, not, not, not metaphorical. I'm so lucky I can't think of the word. But, you know, let's keep going. All right? But that proves that. Now, I wanted to get that Isaiah, so lucky. Isaiah, man. Where is it at? Did I already get it? No, hold on. It's a lot here. And then I'll close it out. Let me see where we at. 17. Yep. Make it under 20. Right here. Isaiah 11. 11. Let me, let, let's go to this and go uh, scripture up. All right. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 10. And it reads, And in that day there shall, there shall be a root of Jesse... All right, which shall which shall stand for an ensign of the people, right? It says, "To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall 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 be glorious." Man, it's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Uh, verse eleven, Isaiah eleven eleven, and it shall come to pass in that day, right, that in the Lord, right, that in the Lord, it's like that in the, it's like that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people right it's talking about the israelites right you see it says which shall be left here we go from from uh, uh um from assyria right from it's like and from egypt and from pathros right and from cush and from elam right and from shinar right and from hamath and from the islands of the sea, man. Our people are everywhere. Amongst all the nations, man. So, of course, we're going to look different, man. We're going to look different, man. Okay? Don't make that a stumbling block. Don't stumble over that, man. You know? Don't fall. Don't, don't, don't fall away from accepting the 100% truth, man. Just because you don't agree with the Cubans are one of the 12 tribes of, of uh, Israel. Okay? It's because you don't... Oh, the... The people of of, of, of uh, Honduras, those aren't Israelite. Those are Israelites, man. Those are Israelites, man. You see. So don't you, you you know you know through the spirit, man. You know the Lord's gonna you know you know blind whoever you know uh, uh, um, he's gonna blind. 
you know but if you are sincere you know pray fast on it you know pray to the lord man and ask the lord to help you see it man you know and help you accept it man you see because it's true man okay you don't want to be one of those people man that you know when uh when uh, the day of our salvation comes and lord willing we, we be a part of that number you don't want to see you don't you don't want to be the person left left behind right <laughs> You know, watching watching Cubans getting beamed up, watching guys that look like you know you know you know Esau getting beamed up, right? But they're Israelites, they're Israelites by spirit and by and by and by seed line, right? They're of the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? <laughs> but they just look like Esau, or they look like you know you know uh, uh, Ishmael, you know, or they look like Ammon, you know. You see, they look like Ham. You see. You don't want to be one of those guys watching these watching these brothers, you know, ancestors getting beamed up, right? And now, now you softy. Oh man, I was I was cracking jokes saying that that would that that could that 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 there's no way that that guy can be an Israelite. You see? So I'm gonna end it there, man. Hey, Lord willing, this edifying to the body and the faith, the sheep, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei Shai, Shalom, and the Bible.